Hey, it's Earth Castle. If you're like me, you might not have the best of hardware. Because of this, playing on maps with a lot of props or complex brushwork can slow down your game and make it an overall worse experience. That's why today I'll teach you how to optimize your maps in the Hammer Editor. Optimizing maps means cleaning up or improving parts of a map to make them less laggy, slow, or to increase frame rate. In this video, I'll go over three types of optimization no draw, funk details, and area portals. First, I'll go over no draw. To optimize maps with no draw, find the no draw texture in the texture browser. Then, find any surface where the player can't see or reach and replace the texture with the no draw texture. What this does is stops rendering the face of the brush, and since the player can't see it during normal gameplay, it doesn't really change anything aside from raising FPS and having less faces to render. I generally recommend this for most maps, since it's easy to do and can very much help with performance and frames. The next method of optimization is funk detailing. To do this, select any geometry that might be complex and isn't part of the basic world structure like walls or floors, and press Ctrl and T. This will turn that geometry into a funk underscore detail. If you are doing this, make sure the funk detail isn't directly exposed to the void or the map will leak. Turning geometry into funk details means that there are less brushes in the level, which is better, and any sides of the funk detail directly against wall geometry aren't rendered, similarly to the no draw texture. This has the same sort of effect as no draw, and is generally good when paired with it. The third way to optimize maps are area portals. To use them, find the area portal texture and make brushes over any doorways or windows on a building. Make sure if you're doing this, every doorway and window into that building has an area portal on it. Then turn all the brushes into area portals individually. What this does is only renders what you can see from the outside. For example, if there are props or walls behind this wall, they won't be rendered until I can see them. This saves a lot of rendering and speeds up maps a lot, but it's one of the harder ones to do and can be a bit buggy. And that's all the methods of optimization I'm covering in this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to check out my other Hammer content and my Discord server, and that's all for now. See you!